Dolly 2 is arguably the biggest name in AI image generators, and with good reason. It was the first AI-powered image generator that was good enough to create wildly interesting images and was widely available to enough people to go viral. Sign up for a free OpenAI account, type in what you want to see, and click Generate. Within a few seconds, you'll have four AI-generated image variations to choose from. OpenAI also built ChatGPT, so if you've used that, you'll be right at home. You can connect Dolly 2 to Zapier to do things like automatically create images from Google Forms or HubSpot responses, or any other apps you use. Let's try to create an image in Dolly using Airtable. You can click on the link in the description below to make one of the pre-made templates. Click the trigger button to get started. To start our Zap, you'll need to set up the Airtable account you would like to use. The first time we set up Airtable, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Airtable account. In order to connect Airtable to Zapier, we'll need to copy our API token into the authorization screen. To do this, go to your Airtable page, click on your profile icon in the top right-hand side of the screen, and then click Account. Next, copy the key that is given to you, go back to your authorization screen, and then paste the key. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. Once you've logged in, click Continue. We'll then need to set up our Trigger Apps data. To do this, select the base table you would like to use for your Zap and then click Continue. Click Test Trigger, click Continue, and our first action step will open. You'll need to log into your account once more, just like you did before. In order to use OpenAI app, we'll need to create an API key and connect it to Zapier. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen, and then select View API Keys on the dropdown. Click Create New Secret Key, and then copy the key and paste it onto your authorization screen. Make sure you save the key in case you need it again. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Once you're logged in, click Continue. Under Prompt, select the tab where your image request is located. I'll select Notes on the dropdown and then click Continue. Click Test Action and you're all set with the second step. Let's move on to our third step. To start, select the Google account you would like to use for your Zap. If you haven't already, you'll need to authorize your Google account just like you did with your other apps. Once that's complete, click Continue. Next, it's time to enter our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under 2, select the emails you would like for your images to appear on. Under Subject, I'll type in a custom message. I'll type AI image. Under Body, I'll type in another custom message. I'll type, check out this AI generated image. Last, click the image URL under the Attachment tab and click Continue. Click Test Action and I should be all set. Yep. There it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime a message is sent out into my Airtable channel, an image will automatically be created using Dolly. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps than thousands of others. Click the link in the description.